your car wave back to you okay so uh, now i'm gonna start with this edit today uh, i know it's kind of pixelated but uh, yeah i think we can work with it so i start with the visual aid actually and start with some dodging and burning as usual oh yeah forgot to take the white brush so now we can start and remove some shadows or harsh transitions and get them right this is all about dodging and burning actually so this is the low cool dodge and burn what we do first before we run into the global dodge and burn so i try to remove the shadow here on her forehead kind of too loud for me here all right so Removing some shadows now. I switch to the burn layer. Usually, I switch around between the burn and the dodge layers, so I can do both. The uh, all right, gotta remove some eye bags here, some horse shadows. Oh, got some messages from you guys. Uh, okay. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Christian. How are you, my friend? Love and appreciate your work. I'm new to editing, but I love the work and try to understand the things around the picture, either post or BTS. That's nice, dude. I hope you enjoy photography. Wolfie, wave back to you. Hello, Arshi. What's up, man? Um, You know, you guys know each other. How do you like your new toy new tablet uh yeah that's actually a really good tablet um i used a tablet which was super old um but it was good actually so um but this one is a lot better the uh, dope they like the intios pro it's kind of expensive in my opinion but um it does work really well so no complaints about it but I mean, I could also add it on my old one. So, um, yeah, I just bought it for the office actually. So I can uh, edit portraits um, in the office. And new camera gear is on its way. So, um, gotta see some new gear soon, and I can do some reviews about it. How are you, Danny? Uh, Mad Max? Thanks, I'm fine. How are you, man? Um, love your editing work. Thank you so much. Hairless is beautiful. Hello. Hi, uh, Danny OP Bottle. Volte? What's what's that? Love, yeah. Majid, wave back to you. Moja, thumbs up. Thank you, man. Um, MDH, MHMD. Mohammed, I guess. Wave back to you. Would you try the new iPad Pro and... If so, would it be easier for editing? Um, I'm not sure about iPad editing. Never never used it to edit, so um, cannot tell you about that. I'm actually using a pen tablet, so that means I'm still working on my Windows computer. So I'm not a mobile editor. I, I don't really like mobile editing. So yeah. And for the guys who wants to enjoy this live stream in high quality, you can jump on Twitch if you want to. Just check out my highlights. I'm actually streaming this parallel on Twitch. So um, I'm doing a dual stream or multi stream. If you want to say so. Um, so yeah. Hello, Los Alexandru. What's up? Okay, I try to move as fast here as I can in the retouch so we can jump into color grading and everything. So the reason I use a black and white visual aid here is so I can see inconsistencies a lot better because the, eye, the human eyes 
get distracted by colors really easy so um, this is how I actually dodge and burn this is I think the most photographers are doing it this way I don't think that anyone does it in color and this really helps a lot to see all those distractions or remove those distractions and get it right it's not naughty dog how is it going Danny Ports it's um, going really good though thanks for joining man are you actually joining from uh, from Instagram Oh, um, 5.0 5 leader. What's up? Wave back to you. Thanks for joining again. Sultan, what's up? Saludar, you're editing fire. Thank you, Chiku. Hello, Signura. Hello, official OT. Quanto tiempo leva editar una foto? Um, I don't speak Portuguese or Spanish. I don't know. Uh, boy hot wave back to you hello I am Lynn Buzdan yes lol that's nice dude thank you so much for joining on twitch I hope the quality is a lot better don't know about the sound and stuff I hope uh, I just set up everything right so um, you can hear me clearly so what are you guys up to actually weekend is it is it actually night or morning in your region let me know okay so now i'm gonna raise my shadows here so i can see those darker parts so i can retouch here on the nose and make it a little bit louder and hear the music it's just gonna be a little bit, little bit louder for me so don't worry guys. Uh Elondas, where um thumbs up, thank you. Hello sir, what's up? I actually my name is Nikhil. You can call me Nick. Oh, that's nice. Hello Nick. Nice to meet you. Looks and sounds great, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Glad it does. It's 3 p.m. for me. Oh man. Are you actually working or at work? Watching the stream. Alright, I tried to get rid of this harsh shadow here, but I think this is too dark. And the reason why everything is kind of dark, it's because this is a night portrait and the light is coming from the left. So, this was pretty dark here on the right side. But I tried to recover as much as possible here. Let's see how it looks like. Do a quick before and after of the skin retouching so far. This is before and this is after. Uh, looking kind of clean, so not bad. Move those shadows here. And adding some shadows down here. So everything blend in together perfectly. Like that. Yeah, that's good. All right, now let's do some global dodge and burning. So I switch the layers here and increase my flow. Now I'm painting in here, above her eyes. Also in her iris, where the catch light is. Around her eyes and also on the nose. Down here. Yeah, I think this this uh, shot is gonna be dope at the end. I hope so. Because this was kind of hard to um, photograph. Because it was all dark. Uh, okay, get back to your messages here. Um, Moham Mohammedi, what's up? Hello. Oh, Mohammed. Uh, he support. Hello, wave back to you. Sounds are oh great, it's night in India. Oh, yeah, it's it's probably like 2 a.m. or so. Hey, can you please edit my pic? Um, I edit pictures on a commission, so uh, send me a DM or email, so uh, I can send you my, my uh, rates. 
uh, Mushrafs, wave back to you. Ohio, it's 3 p.m. Oh, nice. So, do you just dropped off work or what? Hello, I'm Gior, um, wave back to you. So, he, hello. You do actually do dodge and burn on a black and white and apply on a color layer? No. I didn't see this stream from beginning. No, I just use a uh, visual aid. So, um, this is a black and white layer, so I can see inconsistencies a lot better because human eye is getting distracted really fast from colors and this helps to relax the eye and see inconsistencies a lot better or spot them a lot better however you want to call it okay so now i'm gonna apply some shadows now so on her eyebrows usually also around her eyes here emphasize her eyes and on the outer rim of her eyes nice also up here and on her nose make it a little bit slimmer down here and up here okay great now i just burn around her face that don't take it too literally Burning around her face the devil okay so this is before and after of the global dodge and burn no i just finished editing so i thought i would jump on here for a few because i saw the notification log. thank you so much for jumping on here on twitch thank you for joining man hopefully you're satisfied with your edit the naughty dog uh, play music? Yes, I do. Is it, is it too... Um, is it too quiet? Raise the music a little bit. Who is she? It's a model here based in Switzerland. Elisa Mart or yeah. Actually a singer. So her single just released. You can check it out on Spotify. Um... Amine, hello, wave, uh, not wave back to you, but thumbs up, thank you. I follow my page, um, yeah, okay. Jromag2, uh, thanks for the thumbs up. For also, InstaVVS24, hello. It is so amazing, thank you so much. Wie geht's? Hilf mir deine Hand zum Bunde. Das sind zwei dolle Hunde, what? <laughs> kind of weird. Um, weird champ. Edit me too. Um, yeah, I edit on a commission. As I said, you can uh, like check out my prices or rates on my website, or send me an email and I can send you my rates. Please edit my pick. Yeah, I uh, as I said, I edit on a commission. Emmy, hello. What's the difference between global and local dodge and burn? Um, yeah, I get this answer a lot, and actually. With local dodge and burn, you try to flatten out the, the whole face and get rid of all the inconsistencies in her face by um, removing shadows or blend in all those transitions smoothly. So that means um, removing distractions or blemishes in her face. And with the global dodge and burn, you're just gonna emphasize her face. Which means adding darkness to the shadows and brightness to the brighter parts or to the highlights. And yeah, that's actually the difference. So with local dodge and burn, you actually flatten out her face. And uh, with the global dodge and burn, you're gonna emphasize the face and add some depth. So now I'm gonna do some global dodge and burn in her hair also to add some depth. That means adding shadows, the darker parts here to add contrast. And also adding brightness or highlights to the brighter parts. Which creates a 3D effect, kinda. Before and after. Nice, so we group those together, call it skin. And this is for the skin retouching actually before and after so far. Pretty nice. Now we get to the coloring part. Uh, let me check your messages here. You're going crazy. Go and sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining and a good night, I hope. 
Uh, Vicky Graffy, hello, hello, Mushrafs. Save this life. Yes, it's gonna save my story for 24 hours, so you can check that out. Nikolai, dang, uh, thanks for the hard eyes. That's actually awesome. Thank you, Nick. Omari, to wave back to you. Your photo edit is so amazing. So glad you like it. Rezagan Barrio, uh, wave back to you. Love your page. Thank you so much, dude. I always use the color layer. This is actually a good idea. I will try this next time. Yeah, I don't use the color layer. Or maybe, if you mean for the visual aid, yes, I use it on a color layer, actually. A gray, gray color to make it gray like this. Oops. This is like a color blending mode. So now, uh, which app is this? Uh, this is Photoshop 2020. Um, LPV Donyal, what's up? Wave back to you. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna try some. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna add some contrast here by using a first layer. So um, I'm looking out for a darker part. Pull the shadows down and raise up the highlights and bring those midtones a little bit up like that and this adds contrast to the whole picture as you can see before and after which is really cool so now i play around with the colors um i think we just have those greens in the background here and i think i'm gonna turn those orange a little bit much yeah we don't have a lot of um, greens here so that doesn't work but we have science I'm gonna add some or intensify those signs here make it a little bit teal just like that and also with the blues add some teals here little amount and yeah let's see I think we have some yellows around her, yeah, in the background. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna mask her out by using the select subject tool in Photoshop. Hello, Marianne. Wave back to you, JM Toe. Um, please, what? Which app is this? Yeah, it's Photoshop. Does it have subs? um no i don't think so sir please make youtube tutorials i just uh uploaded a uh, editing breakdown if you want to check that out uh, maybe i'm gonna re record some uh, tutorials on youtube soon you use only lightroom sometimes no never i just use lightroom for a quick edit like this is lightroom and then i jump right into photoshop Um, yeah, for those who didn't know, I also stream this on Twitch right now. So if you want to check out that stream over there without the chat and, and stuff or uh, in a better quality, you can jump on there. Feel free. Um, wave back to you, d -Sing. Dear Danny, I have a Canon 4000. Which lens would be perfect for me? Um, I don't know about Canon lenses. So I cannot recommend something because i don't know about it so um yeah really depending on what style you want to shoot but i really don't know canon lenses so so now i'm gonna mask her out here i'm gonna exclude her from the whole background and the red thing here is actually the mask which i masked out okay so now i'm gonna turn those greens here in the background or yellows into an orange got that orange and teal look just like that adding magentas and the uh, yellows with the reds maybe a little bit yellows and let's see. Yeah, this looks good. Just like that. Maybe a little bit more, so I add another selective color layer. And then turn down the yellows here. Make it orange. 
Okay, nice. So maybe those reds are looking kind of off. So I'm going to add some yellows here. Yeah, let's leave it like that. And this is the coloring so far. Orange and teal look already in. Cool. Wait. Seems like my uh, hard drive just got unplugged. Oh no, it still works. Okay, doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna decrease the contrast from the background to separate the model. Also with the curve. You can see I'm gonna darken the whole background. So she stands out a little bit more. Not that much. Here. I think this is good. Cool. Um, now I'm gonna whiten her eye whites. Let me check the, the, the chat real quick here. You guys go crazy. Uh, Yule, um, thank you for the thumbs up. You, so you have to use a laptop for this, right? Um, yeah, I'm using a computer actually. So uh, you can either use a computer or a laptop. Um, Sadek, wave back to you. What free apps do you recommend? Um, I don't know. I don't use... I mean, I only use Photoshop and Lightroom. And those are paid apps, I know. But I think you can also use like Snapspe Snapseed or so. And uh, Lightroom Mobile. Um, yeah, I think those are the two really powerful apps. How did you select that area? Um, I actually went to a selective tool here uh, in Photoshop. Hope you see it, like the rectangular marquee tool where you can marquee stuff. And then... Wait, no, sorry. It's actually the quick selection tool where you can select like this. And I just used the Photoshop select subject tool and it selects automatically the model. And then I just use the mask and manually mask out like properly like that. And yeah. How I mask it out. Um, love you from India. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Does it have monthly subscription? Yes, Photoshop does have monthly or annual subscription. Magic selection tool? Yes, it's the quick selection tool. Not the magic went tool, it's the... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Any any select tool, object select tool or quick selection tool. You have that toolbar on top, like select subject or select a mask. Um, yeah, this is how I used it. Or brush. Yeah, you can also brush her out, but um, that takes a lot more time than using Photoshop to mask her out roughly and then go in and just adjust the mask. What free editing app do you recommend? Uh, I just told you guys, I don't know. I just use Photoshop and Lightroom, maybe Snapseed and Photoshop Mobile or Lightroom Mobile is good. What camera lenses do you have? Uh, what camera and lenses do you have? I have a Sony a7 III with a uh, 55 mm 1.8 and 35 and also 85 mm all 1.8. So I have three lenses actually. And the most lens I use is the 55mm. What do you guys actually use? Or what's your what's your favorite lenses, guys? If you have some. Okay, so I'm gonna widen her eye whites here by uh, taking down the saturation. And I think this is good for the coloring part already. So let's group all these layers together. And uh, see a before and after. Yeah, looking good. So I like it. So we're almost done here already. Um, that's clean selection. Yeah, uh, Photoshop does a great job. If you have, if you don't have like foreground objects like bushes and stuff, or shrubs. Hola, Vida, hello. Um, if you want want to do portraits with Canon, I would recommend the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. It's awesome lens for the price. Very well known. Thank you so much for helping out, Marion. Uh, can we can the edit work with the cool picks p5010 what's that the cool picks p5510 
Thank you, Danny. I'm going to switch from Canon to Sony soon. Uh, nice. So you're joining the Sony gang. <laughs> yeah, Sony is so good. Um, I don't know other other brands. That's why maybe. So you added a mask and used the brush for masking out that area. Yes, exactly. I masked her out with the quick selection tool. And then I masked her out manually um, by hand because Photoshop sometimes makes some faults. But that's pretty okay. So I don't have to do a lot. Um, now I'm gonna add some blush here. So I'm using a brush and a color, a kind of wine red, like that. Low on about 4%, hardness on 0. And then I paint in the blush here on her cheeks. Softly, just like that, on both sides, obviously. And also on her nose. And yeah, this looks kind of off right now, but I'm going to fix it in a couple seconds. Just give me... Just sit tight for a minute, guys. So I'm going to blend in everything together here. The lower opacity. Okay, so now I'm going to turn down the opacity. Also, overall opacity. Like that. And this is how you add some fake blush. Maybe a little bit more. Or, I mean, less down a little bit more yeah this looks good okay i don't think i'm i can enhance her eyes here but we will try nikolai dang <laughs> up sunny i like it thank you so much good photo appreciate it uh about the background you nailed it bro thank you so much appreciate it Hi Danny, is this video will be available on YouTube later? I want to see it completely once I get home. Uh, actually, it's on Twitch because Twitch is gonna upload it automatically. I'm not sure if I can upload it on YouTube now or after that. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes not. Like camera portraits. Hello, Akashi. Thanks for the thumbs up. Uh, if 50 millimeter 1.8 is my favorite also 85 yeah that's nice i use nikon d800 that's a solid camera i guess yeah 85 and 50 those are some really good focal length i really like those um they gotta get rid of the 35 uh because that's kind of weird for me but yeah i really like the 50 millimeter look and the 85 So this was shot on a 50 millimeter here by the way if you wondered um one 105 1.4 sigma is the best in my opinion oh that's uh, probably a nice lens actually a sniper lens never used a focal length above 85 so you must be like super still to not get blurry images i assume I just enhanced her eyes a little bit, not too much. Yeah, nice. This file cannot be saved, okay. Um yeah, let me let me save that real quick because it really sucks if I uh, did Oops. No, wait, let me let me figure out that oh yeah it's okay. um photograph majida hello uh tg wave back to you man sunny photography hello you videos are good tutorials i also edit using photoshop but still not very familiar with the tools but your videos are helpful thank you so much really glad if i can provide you with some value here photo alilovic thank you for the hard eyes Erfan. also johnny what's up the sigma lens has great stabilization uh, stabilization and it's very heavy <laughs> worth the pictures though yeah i just like sigma lenses just um send me their 85 millimeter lens and that one was really huge like in comparison with the sony one but the 1.8 aperture is really sick i really really like the look um now i'm gonna add some artificial light here so i just added a soft light layer again Turning down my um, glow to about 4% and then painting in some white stripes here from the left because the light is coming from there. That 
Mm. To add some spotlights here. And then I'm gonna um, also paint around with the black around her on the opposite side. Okay, now I'm using the mask down here. Yeah, this separates the model a little bit more. And yeah, this is actually it. This is the whole.